Hi guys, Top Pops here, and in today's video, we're going to be going garage sale Funko Pop hunting. So let's get started. Now normally when we go to garage sales, I wouldn't know what we're gonna be finding, but today it's a little bit different because a fan of the channel named Derek actually let me know that he's gonna be selling a bunch of his collection today. And so that's why we're going. And also guys, this is the earliest you've probably seen me in a video. It's only 6.30 in the morning. And so I guess guys, I'll see you when I wake up a little bit more and at the garage sale. Too bad grandpa's not here guys. We hardly ever get a train. Don't worry everybody, we are almost there. Okay, so I guess we're gonna take a look at the first table here, guys. We've got $10 each or three for 25, which is not a bad deal. And I'm seeing some pretty interesting pops here. Like the first one that stood out to me is where did it go? <laughs> well, Mira from Aquaman, <laughs> kind of a funny one. And actually speaking of Aquaman, it looks like there's a bunch of them here. Like we've got Black Manta, and then I think I saw another one from that too. Maybe it was just the two of them. I'm not exactly sure, but there is some Aquaman ones here. And then as we get a little bit further over, I'm noticing guys from the new, well, it says from the new film, Star Wars The Force Awakens, it's Ray. It's a pretty neat one. I'm pretty sure this is the original one as well. Nice. And then what else do we got here? We've got like Galactus from Fortnite. That's always a funny one. And like Black Widow, Steampunk Batman, which you don't see very often. Looks like we've also got some hockey over here and then some Captain Marvel, Deadpool. And then over on this table, he's got every single one priced out. And they're not actually that bad at all. I got to say, there's some pretty great prices here. And I'm noticing like Colossus in the front. That's a really good one. And then we've also got like Captain Marvel, Batman, the previous exclusive version. That's pretty sick. So these ones are like your more expensive ones? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. We've got like Britney Spears at the bottom here, guys. Check this one out. You actually let me know about these ones before yeah. these are some really great figures the uh, killer's eddie i believe this is the first time i've ever seen it in person yeah, and then we've also got like fat gum it definitely is what do we got up here now these ones were pretty nice thank you for saving these ones yeah. by the way um, i'm thinking of getting these ones she hulk as well as green ranger these are two really great bobs and then what else we got here? we've got like red goblin bob ross and hoot demongo uh, some other ones up here if you guys want to check them out. We've got like, I think this is the original Carnage. And yep, then we've also, is, yeah. oh it is, that's good to know actually. Yep. That's like the, oh yeah, the Hot Topic exclusive one. Yep. That one came out right around the time as uh, Anti-Venom, was it? Yeah. I think I so. 2020. Yeah. yeah, it sounds about right. Maybe it's on the back even, I don't know. Uh, yeah, if you guys can see that, there's Venom as well as Anti-Venom. This one's really banged up. But, oh yeah. But it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's valuable. No, it's a neat figure, yeah. I like it. What do we got up here guys? Patrick Waugh, uh, Catwoman, Spider-Man stealth suit, a really cool one. Ooh, Harry Potter pushing trolley. Oh, I like that one a lot. Oh, and you know what? Now that I'm around back, and kind of see some of these figures a bit better. We've got like the Penguin from Batman Returns, Kid Flash, as well as this one here. Oh, it's Mike from It. Pretty cool. And now this is one I don't think I've seen in a while. We've got like a Harley Quinn here. Kind of an interesting one. And here... There's like, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there too. Oh geez, wow. Yeah, so you can come around. It's like wallpaper. I mean, mine is too though, of course. Yours is yeah. crazy, but yeah, I don't know. There's no light in here. No, no, that's good. Look at this, guys. Check this out. Oh, the Raptor's a great one. Yeah, yeah Yellow Ranger. Power Ranger, uh, Lightning Collection figures. Oh, which one's that there? The uh, Ric Flair and Charlotte Flair. That's pretty oh, cool. Oh yeah, the gold one. I got that at That's before uh, they closed. Oh yeah? Like, like a few months before. Wow, that's pretty sick. Yeah, and all my Simpsons are way back there. Oh yeah, yeah, the Simpsons, there's too many of them <laughs> there's already. so many. I love them, but yeah, there's way too many. Absolutely. Great. And, and yeah, as you can see, uh, the, sorry it's a bit dusty. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is my rocks. Cool. This is probably my prize, other than the wrestling, this is my prize collection. Yeah, you got lots of great ones. Tons, uh, and there's like even more like behind. Oh yeah, and like on top. The same in my collection. It's it's crazy, but yeah, I, I get got it. a lot of the. This is probably my most expensive. Uh, yeah, that's a nice one. I like yeah. the three pack. Yeah, and then I got oh my, so I categorized it. So I got. That's oh, smart. I got the classics up here and classics in the middle. I got the metal here. Mm -hmm. and I got the the pop, and then <laughs> modern day. Nice. And then the rap. Cool. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, the the rocks are my bread and butter. I can't believe how expensive <laughs> this pop is now. Which one's that? Is that, that oh yeah, it was like seventy five bucks last yeah, time I checked. I couldn't believe it. No, crazy. I know, and then I got all the, the wrestling stuff which well, back up if you guys want to see this. Check this out guys. And then uh Star Wars Black series. I got tons of those. Wow. Big Star Wars guy. And I got more pops down there. I got the Animaniacs down there. Oh yeah. Oh those are some good ones. Yeah. They're pretty pricey too there. actually. They are, yeah. I see this one. Yeah. I haven't seen Wacko in a while, is that him? Yeah. Or his dot. Oh, yeah, there he They're is. Yeah, down at the bottom there. there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of others piled behind. <laughs> but, uh. What's yeah. this pile over here? Just kind of random? It's just, uh, yeah. I had Pokemon, and then it just went for movies, and then it just went to random. Oh, yeah. 
I got it's pretty mixed mixed bag of stuff. Some cool got ones some here though. Sports got some Luke Skywalker up at the top there. You got both Lukes. The uh, yeah. that's pretty cool. Target and the uh, yeah the yeah. Galaxy Con. What is that? I thought uh, I had another Galaxy Con, but I can't find it. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably in here somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay, and then we can go downstairs because I got more down there. Sure. Yeah. Sorry, I saw the Captain Underpants. Got pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. a neat one. Yeah, it is a cool one. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Still not finished yet, but. Uh, yeah, so soda's up on top. Cool. And then we got hockey, all hockey. Oh, all the chases too at the top there. Yeah, yeah. I only got three chases for the hockeys, but there's there's tons. there's a couple more, isn't there? Yeah, I don't have the Gila Fleur. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't have. Uh, I don't know if there's a Mark Messier. I don't think so. I'm not sure. They make so many hockey ones; it's hard to keep up with those. I ones. know. I got the. You probably haven't seen that one too much. The great. Oh, Mets. I have not. Do you care if I get closer? Go ahead. Cool. Yeah. That's a neat one. Fanatics exclusive. Yep. That I had to order from NHL.com, but it's this crazy sale with free shipping. So I was like, oh, I need this. Yeah, because shipping to Canada is pretty pricey on these. Yeah. yeah, yeah, crazy though. I got the die-cast Star Wars figures up there. Oh yeah, yeah, they're the metal ones. Oh neat. The, I think I I might have Disney one of these. Store. Oh, do you have one? Yeah, I do. I remember awesome. seeing them when the Disney store was closing there for a little while. They got really cheap. Yeah, I remember. I got them all at the flea market for dirt cheap. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, got the Inside Out gang right down there. Oh, oh, are those the ones that you got yes. over at? Yes. Yes. When I told you about going. Yeah, to, yeah. Yeah, when you got those. Pretty cool. Yeah, and then the whole set. Did you get all of them there, or did you no, have one already? I got the disguise from uh, from that. It was they had it like marked at thirty bucks. Oh, okay. Half off. Wow. So I grabbed it. Yeah. So yeah. I was like, I need to complete a set. For sure. I have all the cans displayed that I. Yeah, that's neat. I mean, yeah. they've got art on them too. They look nice. Yeah, they do. And then uh, they're up the top here. The sodas are up at the top. I got the nice. The flocked Sully is probably my favorite one. Oh, that Remember, yes. You were trying to get it. Forever. I am. I am. Oh, you also got the Chase Iron Man too. Yeah, I see. I did. Yeah, uh, those are two right on there. Retro Festive, I bought two and I got one. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, they were on sale up there for a while. Nice. What was the other chase? Is that uh, the only chase you had or no, you had one I more? Got Stone Cold on the side. Or oh, there. yes, yes, yes. I, got, I see uh, them there. Jack Skellington. The oh, guy. right. Yeah, they look. Yeah, yeah. That's a cool one. They yeah. look very similar. Yeah, and then the Iron Man and the. So I only have four chases. No, great so chases. I only buy though. like one at a time normally. Unless right. It's a character I really want. For sure. I buy like tons. Yeah, well, they're great chases, though. I like them a lot. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah they're awesome. Yeah. Yeah, great collection. Is, yeah, I love yeah, I love my, my hockey <laughs> stuff. That's my. that My wrestling is just all in my room behind. I yeah. should really. I'm going to try and put it down here. No, that'd be cool. Because it's like scattered all, For sure. all down here. Yeah. And then I remember the video on that. That was hilarious. Oh. Oh, yes, this one here. Yeah. yeah, I think mine was the same. Like mine was a bit banged up. Well, how much did you pay for yours? Do you remember? Forty bucks. Okay, yeah, that's what I paid for mine. I, I don't know. Is it the same look so, as yours? Uh, I think it is. If there's a sticker on the bottom, is it okay if I pick yeah, it up? Well, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, there might be. Yeah, this is the exact is same. It? Yeah, that huge sticker on the bottom there. Is, I is guess it, it fake or no? No, it just means oh. it was a return. I got another good one right here. I should show. Sure, you. sure. You probably don't see it too often. Got Ramona flowers right there. Oh, nice. Yeah. The original one too. Yeah. Yeah, here we can pull it out. Wow. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Check it's out. a little banged up, but I got it for dirt cheap on Marketplace. Hey. So I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm no, not No, can't mad. complain. Yeah. Not at all. I am not mad at that at all. And then, yeah, this is, this is the uh, bait exclusive Michael Jordan. Oh, did you get that at uh, Shoppers? Yeah. I just did saw that one the other day. Too? No, I didn't grab oh, one, but I saw it the other day. It's freaking pricey. Yeah. It's like 65 bucks. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't I, believe I, it. I probably should get that one You then. should get it. <laughs> I saw it like two days ago and I was like, ah, it's fine. I can wait. I had a bunch of other Michael Jordans. Yeah, yeah. Probably should have grabbed that yeah, one. Yeah. Because it's, I've never even heard. What's a Bait exclusive? I bait know. is a store in the States. They have a couple different okay. locations. I know there's one in Seattle. Okay. Uh, they had the uh, Bape ones as well. Do you remember those? The monkeys? No, I don't remember. No? It, it's, no? it's like a clothing brand, but they also had like oh. a monkey, and then they have, they've had a couple different oh, ones. Oh, that's cool. I didn't yeah. know that. So uh, that's, that's my collection. Sweet. Yeah, thanks for showing me. No problem. I thought you were <laughs> going to see it. No, this is great. Okay, everybody. I got to say, that was a great garage sale. Derek, thank you so much for letting me know about this. And also, guys, I did get a pretty big box of pops, and I'll show them all off when we get back to the office. Oh, and Derek also let me know if you guys wanted to message him about any of the figures that you might have seen today. I will have his Twitter linked in the description down below. So if you saw something you might enjoy, definitely let him know. Okay, everybody, so we are now back from the garage sale, and I gotta say, Derek, you had a lot of great figures. And you know what, now that I'm looking at it, I think every single figure except for one was Marvel. And he also let me know that all of the figures was PPG, but if it was like a weird number like $22, he would round down, which is awesome. And so I guess let's get into the first one here, and I think we're gonna start with the three for 25 figures because I did end up getting three of those. We got The Thing as well as Bruce Banner, and then the last one I got was this Unmasked Spider-Gwen. 
And I gotta say, these three here were some nice pickups, especially because Bruce Banner is probably gonna be in the new She-Hulk show. And also, speaking of Bruce Banner, it says here he was a Toys R Us exclusive, which I don't remember, and it must have been like right before they closed. Because when Thor Ragnarok released, I actually believe it was the same year that Toys R Us was closing, so it like just squeaked in there. And also, now that I think about it, this might be like the only live action Bruce Banner Funko Pop that we've got, because I know that there's another one where he's kind of like turning into the Hulk, but I don't believe there's another one of just like him by himself. And then the next one that I grabbed was The Thing. And if I'm going to be honest, I do already have this one in the collection, but it was three for 25. So I figured I might as well pick up one that looks pretty interesting. And I went with The Thing, especially because there could be some Fantastic Four stuff coming soon with Mr. Fantastic being in Doctor Strange. It's been long enough, right? I can probably mention that. <laughs> Anyways, if you've been wanting to see Doctor Strange, I feel like you would have seen it by now. And I got to say that this version of The Thing compared to the original one has a lot of amazing detail, especially the way they painted in between every single one of the rocks on this guy and then the way he's growling with his teeth I really enjoy this thing and you know what I'm looking through the rest of the collection here and I gotta say I think the thing's my favorite and now let's take a look at these spider Gwen unmasked which I don't believe I have in the collection this one here was kind of like I'm not 100% sure but I do really enjoy the pop as well as a good Walgreens exclusive so I couldn't pass up on it I was actually debating on getting the Hendrick Lundquist but then I'm not the hugest Rangers fan I just thought it was kind of cool because he was the goalie and he had all the pads but then when I found spider Gwen I was like yeah, I'll swap him out for her. And it's kind of funny because on the back of the box, I actually picked up another character from this set, which I'm pretty sure you guys saw. And I'll show you guys the back of the box if you guys want to take a look at it. I know you know who it is. But before we get onto the rest of them, I believe the spider Gwen that I've got in the collection is her with the mask completely covering her face. And with this one here, it's her with the hood on. And I'm pretty sure there's also another version where she has no hood or mask on in general. So there's three different ones. That's why I'm a little bit confused. And I mean, here's the thing, guys. If I do already have it in the collection, it's still just a fun pop to have. I don't mind having two. And now I guess let's get on to the next cheapest figure that I picked up, which would have been $15. And this one here was Colossus. And I gotta say, it's another really great pop. And I don't know what it is about this one, but I really, really enjoy it. I think it might have been because I had a Colossus figure when I was younger. And I know I've talked about this in the past, the Star Wars Galactic Heroes figures, where they were kind of just like big bodied ones and they had their arms and feet to the side. I really enjoyed those. And then around the same time, I don't know if it was made by, was it made by Play School? Something like that. Anyways, I don't remember exactly which company made them, but they also made Marvel ones around the same time. And I had a couple different sets and this one with Colossus was one of them. And so I think that's why I enjoyed Enjoy this Funko Pop so much because of the nostalgia of the older figures I used to have. And also, taking a look at the back of the box, there are some other really great figures, and I'm pretty sure I've got like, I think half or like three quarters of this set if you guys want to check it out. I'm only missing, I think it would be, let me look here, Cyclops as well as Mystique, and then I've got every single one. So maybe it could be fun to finish this one off in the future, but then again, there are so many different exclusives that go along with these guys, it might be a little bit tougher than I think. And then next up here, guys, I don't know if I showed you this one while we were on the table. I think I like maybe passed by it, but I didn't tell you I was going to be picking it up. This one here was the GameStop exclusive Glow in the Dark Molten Man from Spider-Man. And I gotta say, this one here was one of my favorites that I grabbed just because of the amount of detail, but then also the fact that he glows in the dark. And I want to see this one out of the box because I don't believe I've gotten this one in the collection. I definitely have, who is it? Where is he here? I definitely have Hydro Man and Mysterio, but I don't think I've got a Molten Man. I feel like a lot of the characters that I bought today is me thinking I don't have them, and I don't remember seeing this one ever in the collection, so I don't think I do. And now that I've got some out of the box, I can guarantee I don't have it, because there are some weird details on this thing that I don't think I've ever seen. Because when you take it out of the box, there's like a lot of metal bits kind of like melting into him. I think that thing looks really sick. And now here's the only non-Marvel figure that I picked up. It was the Green Ranger from the Power Rangers, and I love this thing, especially because it is the original one. And now I do understand that this isn't from the original wave of Power Rangers, there was maybe like three that came out at the very beginning and then they never finished the collection until around 2017 when they made the four others for the set. And so that's where this one comes in. And if you guys want to see the back of the box with all of the characters, well, here they are. And so because this is the original Green Ranger pop to release, it's pretty cool to have in the collection. And now everybody, let's get into the last pop as well as the most expensive pop that I purchased today. And now everybody, let's get into the last pop that I picked up today as well as the most expensive. This one here is the Glow in the Dark She-Hulk. And I was actually really pumped when Derek said he was going to be selling this thing because the new show is releasing very soon. So I thought it'd be cool to have in the collection so I could show it off to you guys. And also, 
I haven't heard anything about Funko announcing new She-Hulk figures, so for now, it's cool to have this one in the collection. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today, and thank you again to Derek for letting me know about your garage sale, because this was seriously a lot of fun. And if you guys want to see more garage sale videos like this, I will be trying my best this summer to get as many of them as I possibly can, because it really is cool to find people's collections and then what they're selling. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, but this has been an episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Did the math, I'm baby Johnny Cash. My girl gon' throw it back. Damn, my life is in the mass. Holy hell, this max. I make hits and you make trash. I'm on vacay, do not ask. Pulls out even Apple Jacks. Shut up, shut up. Big deal like TJ Maxx.